Hello everybody, welcome to Uncle Panko's Terrible Little Farm. I've been sitting on the screen for about five minutes because I don't know what to make of this game. I've been a little uh, stressed out about pressing the play button, but now that you guys are here, I'll push the play button. <sighs> I feel good about this. I don't... This can't be too scary of a game. My dear nephew, greetings, Stephen. It is I, your Uncle Panko. I hope you are well. Your parents tell me that you are soon to graduate. Fine achievement indeed, Quentin. It feels just like yesterday. You could barely walk and talk, and now you're almost fully grown. How time flies. Click enter. Ah, enter. Looking back, it seems that I haven't actually seen you in person since then. For that, I apologize. I'm just so busy at the farm nowadays. Which brings me to the point of this letter. I would like to invite you to spend the summer here with me. It would be nice to have some help, and we could make up for all the lost time. Sure! If you'd like to accept my offer, Jeremy, all you have to do is take the bus to the farthest stop on the outskirts of the next town over. Once you get there, just follow the dirt path cutting through the woods. My farm is just around the corner. Hope to see you soon. Uncle Panko. Sure, Uncle Panko. I just graduated. Let me spend my first free summer working at a fucking farm. Oh, we're in. Oh, is this first person? It is. I mean... Okay. So I'm at the farthest... town. I walk this way. Is that dirt path. I really like the art style of the game so far. It's pretty solid. It's kind of different. It gives me, like, if you watch me play the Salvation Project, it makes me think of that game the way it's, like, it's almost like a hazy coloring to it. This must be the farm. I'm sure Uncle Panko's not here. Hey, bud. Anything to you? No. Enter. Michael, my boy. I'm glad that you decided to visit. Unfortunately, something unexpected came up, and I'll be gone for the first few days of your stay. Would you mind doing some work around the farm until I return? I know it's a lot to ask since you'll be all by yourself, but if anyone can handle it, you can. Robert! I've left a few more instructions around the house to help you, and I'll take on the majority of the work once I get back. The key to the front door is located under the little goblin on the porch, and your room is on the second floor. Make yourself at home, Uncle Panko. Sure, sure, I get here, you're not here, but you want me to continue to work doing something I've never done before, why not? Can I shut the door behind me? No? Hey, wait a minute. Okay, I can. Do I take that key? No? There's more about that later. So you've got typewriter. I guess I shouldn't pry around too much yet. I'll just go to the second floor where my room is. I'm going to guess this door. Nope. This door. There it is. What's behind this door? Is it a bathroom? No, nothing. Okay. So... Nice little room here. I can do some stuff. Got books. Okay. I guess we should explore. Let's see. There's a bathroom. Any shits in here, Gramps? I'm just kidding. Just Josh and your brother. Let's see. Anything here? Oh, I thought that was something in the corner. Anything in the fridge? Anything good? No? Oh, well, let's just get to work on the farm then, shall we? Let's see. I guess I'll start... You have dog? Chickens, perhaps? No? Nothing? Nothing? I guess I'll start in the barn. That's where the first note that I can see is. Can I hit those? No? Okay. Lenny, I see you found the barn. Why does he keep calling me different names? 
The cows can be quiet where Audi, especially on Sundays, Thursdays, and the second Wednesday of every other month. So if you hear any odd sounds coming from inside, pay them no mind. I fed them and locked the door before I left, so they shouldn't bother you today. Tomorrow, however, I would like you to let them out to graze. The key to the barn door is hanging in the entryway of the house. Please leave it locked until the sun comes up tomorrow. Uncle Panko. My intuition's telling me to unlock it. But I don't want to end this game prematurely. So let's just let's just take it easy. Let's just take it easy. Unless the game wants me to do that. Yeah, there's a letter there. I mean, there's no other options out here, so... Dearest nephew, apologies, but I forgot to mention something important. Life out in the wilderness can be a bit rougher than life in the suburbs, especially at night. Not all the time, but enough that some caution is warranted. So before the sun fully sets each day, I need you to go inside of the house and remain there until it rises again. Today specifically, you'll need to make sure and shut and lock the back and front doors. In that order. Back, then front. Before going to bed as well. Uncle Panko. So shut the back, and then the front. Well, you see, the issue is I don't know how to lock the door. So... I mean, is it night? Am I just supposed to go to bed? I guess. Okay, well. It's the end of the first day. Oh, shit. What's going on, gnome? Rodney! It seems you have made a mistake during your nightly routine. That's alright, nobody's perfect. Unfortunately, that means that one of them got inside the house. This is fixable, but you need to follow these instructions exactly as I have written them. Take a red candle from your bedside drawer and light it. Then walk with it calmly downstairs to the downstairs bathroom and lock yourself in. There's a pillow and blanket in the cabinet under the sink in case you need it. The bathtub isn't exactly the most comfortable place to sleep in the house, but it's better than the alternative. Uncle Panko. What the fuck is in the house? God damn. It's a fucking red one. I'm going. Oh, it's dark. What the fuck? It's going. It's. it's oh, god damn. I'm scared. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know what that was. I don't know what kind of house I'm in right now. I just need to take a minute. Can we talk about what happened, Uncle Panko. Can we talk about it? I'm guessing you want me to just go back and do the farm work and act like that didn't just happen, right? I'll do it because I'm your loving nephew. That's what I'm supposed to do. That's what the game developer wants me to do. So I'm going to keep on doing it. Let's open the door. Hey, whoa. Oh, shit. What are y'all doing? Are, is this what you're supposed to do? Anything in here? Any secrets? Okay, well, yeah, I got the, brought the cat. Oh, shh. Damn it. What are you doing out here, little buddy? You better get back in. Where are you going? You better get back in. Don't come all the way out here. It's scary out here. I need a... Don't wander away. Go back where you're supposed to go. You fucking cow. 
I got a bad feeling about this. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, that's right. What's that noise? It's getting louder. It's gone now. Whatever, get back in the fucking gate. Uncle Panko! Mogi! If you're reading this, you're probably doing well. I'm very proud. Besides caring for the livestock, I'd like you to harvest some of my crops today. The purple stuff, to be specific. Grab the sickle next to the gate and get started whenever you're ready. Make sure to keep an eye on your surroundings while you're harvesting. The field is small, but it's more like a patch than anything else. But some little rascals still tend to hide in there when the crops are at their tallest. Don't worry too much about it. Just stay on your toes and you'll do fine. Uncle Panko. What kind of rascals are we talking about, brother? I mean, let's just... Let's, let's get in here. Do I have to get all of this? I think I'm doing pretty well. Oh my fucking god, what is that? What the fuck was that? Did I die? I died? What was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to hit him? No. Stopping any cows from doing any bullshit right now. You know, you know. Oh, you get back here. I'm gonna fucking hit you, bitch. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. There you are. Oh, I got chills when I ran at him. Oh my god, these chills. Yeah, I see you, I see you. you ain't nothing now. You're something in the dark. But not now. Where are you? I hear you. Nope, nope, no, 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 nope. Yeah, that's right. Harvesting this purple shit. Per Uncle Panko. Just chopping away. Good content. Good content. Oh, one more. That's it. Did it. Put that shit in bed. Alright, what you got, Pank? Christopher, thank you again for doing all this while I'm gone. I promise you won't have to spend your whole summer here just doing work around the farm. Why don't you herd the cows back into the barn and take the rest of the day off? Just ring the chimes next to the barn door three times exactly and they'll take it from there. After that, you can head on back to the house. Uncle Panko. Three times, okay. One. Two. Three. Yeah, that's right. I'll get back in there. Okay. Oh, the fucking no. What do you want? What do you want? What's happened? Okay. Rise and shine, today you're going to meet my chickens, or rather, my chicken's eggs. They should have laid a good amount of them by now, and I'd like you to go out to the coop and gather them. There's a basket out on the kitchen counter, and you can use it to hold them, or just put it back when you found it when you're done. Oh, one more thing. Chickens make easy prey for some of the local wildlife, and their eggs are even easier. So stay on guard and don't let anything sneak up on you while you're distracted gathering eggs. But most importantly, have fun, Uncle Panko. What's going to be sneaking up on me out here, unks? Oh, thanks for the basket, dick. Are you Uncle Panko? Are you just fucking with me? I feel like that's the case. But anyway, I'll shut the door behind me. Get some eggs. Some eggs. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Who the fuck are you? I see you over there. Yeah. I got all the eggs. Don't fuck with me now. Look like anything I've ever seen. 
Well, now what? Oh. My boy, thank you again for helping out around the farm. I know it might not exactly be fun, especially not by yourself, but I hope you might grow to love this land as I have. Anyway, I think you've done everything important for now, I think. Feel free to spend the rest of the day as you wish. Just head to bed whenever you get tired. I'm sure I didn't forget anything. Uncle Panko. Oh, you forgot something, you motherfucker. I'm gonna find out, too. If I go to bed, that's my ass. So, I'm gonna f sit here. Click on just about everything in the house. Make sure we're not forgetting anything. What about the clock? TV? What's the secret? What is it? I know it's something. Maybe. What we got in here? Huh? What's the secret? What happens if I chose a different colored candle that night? Alright. I'm gonna go to bed. Got a bad feeling though. Just goes against my better judgment. Yep. Here we are, no gnome. But I hear that fucker. Got no candle. You know, in this situation, you just fucking run at it. And that's all you do. That's all you can do. Just fucking run it. Just fucking run it. Come on, you big bitch. Come on, you big bitch. What are you gonna do to me? Nephew! I think I forgot to mention something I've never forgotten before. The goblin that you took the house key from when you first arrived, there's a non-zero chance that it... It might have been replaced by a gnome. And if you took the key from it, you will have effectively invited it into the house to stay. I don't own any gnomes, but one of my neighbors does and it doesn't like to share. I won't sugarcoat it, you're in serious trouble. By the time you finish reading this note, I reckon you'll have about one minute to find the gnome in the house and give it back to its owner and get inside. Check everywhere you can around the owner's inside the caps. Once you found it, just open the front door and throw it out. Literally, just throw the thing out. Oh, motherfucker. Where is it? 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 Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Where's the gnome? Where's the gnome? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I got it. Take your fucking gnome. <sighs> I don't know if you can see these goosebumps. What? 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 What's that noise? What? Somebody knocking on the door? What? Oh, who are you? Uncle Panko! Finally! How great to finally see you after all this time. You're quite a bit shorter than I remembered. I'm sorry I was gone for so long. I hope you weren't too bored here all by yourself. Notes, chores, weird creatures from the fields and the forests. Why, well, I'm certain I only sent you one letter and left one note on the front door before you arrived. You must have had a nightmare of some kind, and I don't blame you. It can be a little scary out here sometimes, especially on your own. Well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. How about I make us some breakfast, and then I'll give you the grand tour of the property. I hope you're ready for a summer of fun. I got ending too. Summer of fun. Okay, so I got a good ending. Oh, wow. That was... That's a really well-made game, actually. I had a good time playing that. Well, if you enjoyed the video today, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Squeeze out.